Hi guys, how you doing today? This is D. Durrell with D. Durrell Life Solutions. Happy to be here once again to engage in intellectual conversation, to have discussions that are thought-provoking and stimulating. So for today, I'm going to get right into it. We're going to focus on and get back to the financial side of things as it relates to the content. I'm going to focus on um, the EIDL loans versus the PPP loans. I have actually received both. And I'm gonna talk about the fact of which one that I would rather consider. And I'm gonna give reasons to why I would definitely, definitely uh, suggest one over the other. And I will give the, the, the contrast, compare and contrast the two. Now, as it relates to the PPP loans, the PPP loans have seemed to be the, um, most popular of all government back loans that have been given. And the PPP loans also seem to be the most fraudulent <laughs> of, of the government loans that people have applied for. And the reason why it is because it's the easier to, uh, it's the easier loan to obtain. It's the easier one to, uh, to, to, basically get approved for without necessarily giving all of the documentation that is necessary. The PPP loan also processing is probably a lot quicker than the EIDL loan. But one thing we have to look at that I think is the major thing, particularly as it relates to the stature of my business and where I am business-wise, is that the PPP loan is strictly based on your ongoing revenue and the reduction of that to keep people working. So if there's a reduction in revenue, they don't look at that reduction in revenue and they're going to calculate where can I, how much can we give a business so that they can sustain their they're not clientele, but they can they can sustain their workforce, the people who work for them. It's the main focus is to take care of the people who would have been laid off, but also taking care of business related and and I would say salary and income related issues and liabilities. Now, when we talk about the EID L loan. The, EI, the EIDL loan is more associated with the fact that the COVID crisis caused um, issues in you functioning overall and that it caused disruptions in your business to stay open. And also it deals with, it kind of talks about the fact that, you know, you want to maintain employees and so forth. But the main thing is not necessarily to maintain employees but to maintain the overall function of the business. The EIDL loan looks at documentation as it relates to taxes. It requires more accountability and proof that you are operating. Now there has been some adjustments with that, particularly with the PPP loans because of the amount of fraud that has been going on. But in the induction of the PPP loan, and then you get the CARES Act, and then you also had the EIDL loans. Of the three, the PPP loan, um, to me, was the easiest to obtain. The EIDL loan required lots of documentation. It required bank statements, they wanted to see all of these things. The PPP loan initially did not require certain things. Well, it required documentation, but it was not at the length of the EIDL loan. Also with the EIDL loan, you were, you were granted as a business. Um, they were looking at the overall revenues and they were willing to give you larger sums. As you know, certain businesses got 20, 30, 40, 50,000 and so forth. Um, the PPP loans went by quarter, quarterly. The EIDL loan looked at the fact that we're willing to, to based on the size of a company, we, we can give you 500,000. If you're making sur a surplus of so much and you have a bigger company that work, makes million, you can get up to 2 million. The PPP loan didn't necessarily have that. 
it, it basically went by what was needed for you to maintain monthly paycheck, paycheck to paycheck so that employees could continue having um, a, a bit of um, having their employment and having, you know, their financial status intact. Now, from my perspective, based on just as this is personally based on the operation of my business, other businesses could have been different. Some people would say the PPP loan was probably better fit for them based on their financial structure. But for my structure, I preferred the EIDL loan because the EIDL loan, um, even though it required more documentation, the EIDL loan actually grant you more money up front. Now the PPP loan, it had phases. There were that's they had four phases. The EIDL loan has a fact that they granted you a certain amount. And then you can also come back and get the max or get an increase if needed. That's a difference. The EIDL, the PPP loan, you can't go back and get an increase. You have to wait in phases. You have to wait on Congress to improve, to basically, you have to wait on Congress to approve funding. Now that's, that's also Congress approving funding for the EIDL loans also, but the fact of the matter, the max is bigger. I don't have a problem based on my business having the proper paperwork and proper finances to divulge that information to the government because my business is running appropriately. I have all ducks in the row. As you can see, now that people have to pay taxes and tax season is coming up and so forth, now the government is, you don't hear people committing fraud with EIDL loans. You're hearing people commit fraud with PPP loans because it's the easiest to commit fraud because it did not require as much um, account. It did not uh, uh, require a much paperwork accountability. And that's why people were able to get it that didn't have any businesses and have, had no businesses and or didn't have the income to substantiate their claim. Therefore, when taxes are done and they're looking at these things on the bigger microscope, they're arresting people and they're putting them in jail because that's a felony offense. Now, I kind of gave a contrast and compare comparison with two. I told you the reasons the PPP loan was able to operate as such. It's the more popular one. It's, it's one that requires less paperwork. The EIDL loan has a bigger max, 500000 if I think you have a um, a certain threshold or less. And then if you have, oh, I think two or 300 and you're making a certain amount of money, you can get up to two, 2 million. And that that's probably has increased and so on. So please leave comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think about the information that I've given. I prefer an EIDL loan over the PPP loan. I've had them both. Please let me know what you think. Please leave comments in the comment section.